Hello, I'm Intralysium. We're back in RimWorld Needs You. Got a few things going on. We also picked up Nails, who is a minstrel. And she will not be joining us uh, if we have a look at her skills. She's like, oh, I can talk to anyone. It's like, well, how? You, you were a coma child. I guess being a minstrel helps a little bit, but... God knows where she gets the rest of those points from, but she can't really do much else. So we're going to use her for organs. And we're also going to strip her. Because what else do you do with your prisoners? Strip, nails. And who wants power armor? Let's have a quick look at shooting. Five. Oh, wow, look at your construction of mining. I didn't think it was that high, Kyle. It's a bunnock arm. You're amazing. Five. Not you. Six, Ikeru. Hmm, maybe. Six. Thirteen. Fourteen. Well, I think that made a pretty good uh, argument for Chris. Chris Trot, would you mind picking up your power armor from Bay 3, please? It is clogging up the aisle. And then let us go through some lovely, lovely procedures to grab out your organs, because we want to sell the organs, obviously. Mm. Now, of course, each organ will tick up a medicine, but the organs are worth about, you know, four or five times the medicine. So we'll harvest a right kidney, uh, a right lung, and then, I don't know, we can get a heart or we can get a liver. And we've, we used the liver we got last time, so for now, I'm going to go over heart. After this, it's a liver. The Butcher of People hasn't begun yet. I'm still waiting for the Butcher of People to begin. There we go. Butcher of People. Mmm. Lovely people. Also, human leather. We can totally sell that. I haven't turned this heater on yet. I will have to do soon. Tim. Uh, actually... Oh, Eagle is actually building that. That would be lovely if he did. Where is he? Mental break soon. Kyle. Why are you mental breaking, Kyle? Tell me. Urgently hungry. Prisoner organ harvested. Ugly environment. Prisoner executed. Whoops. Uh, strangers... Okay, yeah, we need to, you know, let you eat that and then be happy. All the things. Um, eagle eye. Okay, you're building that. Cool. Because I want to set the temperature. Also, we should probably fix these. Okay, minus 10, minus 10. That's on zero, that's on minus two. What do you want? Watch out for hypothermia and dying crops. Oh no, we have no crops. Let's also delete our growing zones. Orders. Drop wood. Actually, we can do the wood later. Let's cancel it for now. We can always do this wood later. Temperature's fine indoors and outdoors. Minus 13. Okay, so there's about a 33 temperature difference between those guys. Um, okay. And once this is done, we should be... Proof. So in there's climbing, 60 degrees really, and in here is dropping. Information broker passed by. I really don't give a damn. Okay, let's check. Six, five, four, three, two. Yeah. Ooh, very cold. Nice. I appreciate it. We should probably move food in there rather than using these slots because, well, this isn't the best. Storage. Um, priority. Preferred. That should cause people to start moving them between the two. I mean, it'll take up a lot of our hauling time, but we should actually probably stop doing that now and do it later. I've got more important fish to fry. Mmm, fried fish. I'd like some fried fish in this game.
There we go. Nothing else to do. All the hauling's being done. A lot of food coming in. Delicious. Also, while we can, let's also get this mining out of the way. Squirrel's gone mad. Okay, that squirrel's gonna die. Don't worry. You're dead, squirrel. You and your squirrely ways. It died. And now it's gonna make a tasty addition to the uh, base. Mmm. Tomorrow's meals will be Squirrel a la creme. Squirrel o van. It's a squirrel that's been run over by a van. Points if you can get the reference. Okay, so what we've got going on? Um, we've got a load of stuff filled here with pointless crap. We should probably stop this being filled with pointless crap. Um, melee weapon, range weapon, range weapon. Let's take everything off. Critical. You're the sniper rifle rack. I'm pretty sure these are meant to be critical, yeah. Critical. Incendiary launcher rack. Critical. I'd like another R4 charge rifle rack, actually. And then... Frag grenades? LMG rack? Both sound good, actually. But since we have EMP grenades there, maybe it makes sense to put frag grenades there. Yeah, frag grenades. I am not seeing them. That is because it is me. Triple rocket launcher. Doomsday rocket launcher. I need to put in one for them. Grenades. Oh, it's a separate thing. Frag grenades. There we go. Let's expand this. We'll put a rocket launcher in and we'll put, um, you know, some extra ones in just so we've got everything we want. Um, structure? Slate wall. And since it's minus one in this, and we're not going to get an opportunity to go in here for, you know, much longer when it starts heating up and people are going to start taking some damage and stuff when they go inside here, I think it's probably good I did put that wall in. That allows us actually to, you know, build stuff out the back here without opening onto the vents immediately. And a brick soon. And a brick soon gone. We need to sell a lot of this crap. Can we just bulk sell it? Be lovely. An exotic goods trader. Ah, we'll have to have a word with them. Maybe they've got this exotic thing called medicine. Give me your exotic medicine. And as soon as this is done, by the way, we are going to lock the doors so that people can't accidentally go in here to, like, clean up or whatever. She should just lock this one and then leave that one open. Alright, uh, ooh! I forgot, we can do an order haul and we can get rid of this crap that's built up inside here. Okay. Um, research? Sure, we can add the antimatter reactor. We should probably do the fertilizer pump since that allows us to get herbal medicine, but for now, let's just finish this one off. And let's also have a speak to Exotic Goods Trader. Hello, Exotic Goods Trader. Oh, you would like to buy from me. Very well. Oh, you've got a lot of money as well. Okay. Yeah, cloth jackets. Synthra pads I'll keep. Um, you can have all of those. You can have all of those. We'll, we'll go through all of them. There's... Kind of a lot of things. We'll keep a kidney just in case we need to do like an emergency transfer or something. Cobra skin. Um, sure. I'll keep the sim thread. Sim thread Turk. That'll be helpful. Uh, you can have a few of these vests. I don't need those. Um, 
Devil Strand Turk. Very dissimilar to a Synthread Turk, really. Slightly better. So I guess we'll let us keep a couple of those. We'll get rid of a couple of Synthread ones. What else do we have? Um, Monkey Hide. Get rid of it. Boom Rat. Wow. A lot of Cloth Parkers. To the point where I don't need that many. I'm going to keep like two. Three. Three. Fine. Okay. Um, That's a lot of money we're getting from those. Very helpful that they actually cost like a decent amount of money. Happy with that. People should come in more often wearing like, you know, basically $500 worth of stuff. That's more money than they have. I will take a bionic arm from you. Because otherwise I'm not going to be able to take anything. I could take power armor. I might take all your power armor. Because at the end of the day, I have a lot of spare stuff. I've got a Hyperweave Turk lying around and I'm not using it? This needs to be addressed. Iguana skin, hair, oh wow, hair level stuff, yeah. Get rid of that. Kevlar helmets, I would like to keep them. Model of cocktails, miniguns, synth thread, tribal wear, it's tribal wear. Get rid of it. A lung, get rid of a lung. Cobra skin, cloth, cobra skin, synth thread jacket, get rid of one of those I guess. Gee, yeah, we'll get rid of two of them, keep just one, because at the end of the day we're going to be wearing like power armor and stuff, so, and you know, parkers, because they keep us, you know, not freezing to death, which I always find is a, a small bonus really. Pistol, rhino hide, don't know that's endangered. How irresponsible of you. Could a synth or pant. Pant? I was like, still pants. They're like, technically it's a pair of trousers. Both legs. Totally individual. That's multiples. Um, I'm guessing we're fine here. I mean, we're getting lots of power armor. So. Okay. Would people like to collect the power armor? Kyle. You get power armor. Kiru. You get power armor. Okay, Yagat. Power armor. Hello, Tim Bloomfist. Are you worth it? Character? Shooting five? Oh. No, okay. As long as Chris and Kyle, both because they're like doctors, have it, I'm I'm very happy there. So. Beautiful. I should also have a look at the actual area that's being covered by this overhang zone. Uh, remove home region, no. Remove no roof region. No. Add no roof region. Okay. So we are fine. Good to know. We could go out one, two, and then three. Which I think we'll probably do now. Zone. Um. Stockpile. Architect. Stockpile. And then one in from that. There we go. That should cover pretty much anything we want. Mmm, lots of silver. Oh! Dead person! Hello! Can we get rid of the dead person? We should probably turn this off. Let's do it properly. Let's suspend. No, let's toggle the power. Save power. It's like a green eco friendly rim world. Squirrels in the air have been driven insane. An exotic goods trader. Okay. What is it about sending the animals insane and after me? Rim world really has it in for me these days. 
Okay, well, I guess we're going standing on the barricades again. Uh, you certainly don't need that gun. Get yourself an R4 charge rifle and continue on. That's a reasonable weapon to hunt squirrels with, if there ever was one. Nigel, do whatever you want to do. Tim, you're good. Kyle, uh, maybe you should also equip an alpha charge rifle. You really shouldn't be running around minigun. Okay, here we go. Why are we not hauled these centipede corpses yet? Okay, now you can go around your daily business. I think we've got enough people on the front lines. I say that. Yeah, we've got enough people on the front lines. It's fine. Kyle's daring though. Kyle wants to go out there. They said it was fine. The war is over, but the squirrels attacked. It, it is fine. It looks like the squirrels are over. I, I'm going to regret that. There's going to be like squirrels coming out of the goddamn walls, but... Fire the squirrel. It's not dead. It needs to be dead. There we go. Dead squirrel. Now we get to eat squirrel for pretty much the next million years. Akira, can you haul up? No storage place configured to... This place is configured to store them. And machining table. Disassemble mechzoid. Do forever. Yeah. You're configured to do that. Is something wrong here? You are configured to do it. I'm gonna put a zone in. Maybe that'll help. This is for storage. Not clear all. Of. Corpses. Mectoid. Important. And yeah, you can now haul it. Okay. Let's start hauling a centipede and see if it works. Mmm, delicious squirrels. You're not joining us yet, loser. You're such a loser. Louser. Whatever. Character. Why are you not joining us? What is it about you? Why? 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 Like, you've been convinced so many times. Ugly environment. Organ harvested. Cabin fever mild. Prisoner executed. Imprisoned. Well, of course you're imprisoned. Off the ground. Do I need to give you, like, your own table and chair and Wi-Fi and... Basic... Like, I don't know. I don't know what to give you anymore. I don't know what you want from me. Ah, at least we finally got rid of that bunch of sectoids. They've been bugging me for a while. And no, you're not going to mental break. Eclipse! Again, a reason why I hate solar. Apart from it being completely pointless. Oh, wow, that's a high temperature in there. We should do something about that. Um... We could also do the temperature inside. Currently it's being provided by heaters. Oh god, Carl! Are you really in there? You really are in there, aren't you? Wow, go here. Quick. Get out of there. Otherwise you will take, like, really bad heat stroke damage. Yeah, maybe we should lock this. I think it's the only way, really. Bloody hell. 
Toggle locked. There we go. And now we can go back to mining. Okay, and let's set the importance of this now. To preferred. Except this still hasn't been hauled. Alright, everyone. Gonna force you. I know it's... 7pm. Seriously, 7pm and you... Lazy bastards. Oh, you're not a hauler. Sorry. I expect, like, the mass exodus of potatoes. A good dent. Not good enough for me, though. Needs to be better. Uh, mectoids. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at this. Um, four sizes. A minigun. Uh, a repeater blaster. What's it called? Is it a repeater blaster? Heavy charge blaster. Okay. Uh, uh, another minigun and an incendiary... An inferno cannon, in fact. I don't know if I can defeat this. I know we've talked about it before and be like, oh, you know, it's so much, I don't know if I'm defeated and we've done it plenty well. That's a lot of guys. I'm going to have to call in some favors and have an elaborate defense. I'm still, I'm still wondering how we're going to do it. Okay. Call in all the favors. Spend all the money we can to call in all the favors we can. Layered defenses. Guys here. Guys here. Some guy nearby with... Some... Sort of... EMP grenade. In fact, in future, I'm going to dig out a hole here, put a little, like, thing like that, and then make this little nooky hole. And then you can hide in there with an EMP grenade and chuck it out. Now, it will mean that anyone, like, coming in will hide in that hole to fire at these guys, but they should get inflated from there, and that'll be fine. Um... But in future, that's going to think. Anyway, for now, we're going to... Mm, I don't know. Maybe I should I should treat these as two separate groups. Because they're going to come way before these guys. I mean, if they hit anyone, that's bad. That person's going to be out of the next fight. But we can separate them. Those are going to get way before these guys. And the truck will be calling for help with Nigel, who can't fight anyway. To make sure we can get like the group separate or something. Maybe that's a good idea. I like this idea. Anyway, we're going to do this next episode of Inetner Elysium. Next episode, eight mechtoids. Mechanoids. Whatever. How much food are we up to? Oh, we're up to about 9,000 food. Excellent. And, yeah, considering we're going to have 9,000 people. Not 9,000. That would be a lot of people. Nine people. Laos is going to be one of them. Um, that'll be a thing. Also, that's normal, and this is important, so... Probably starting shifting stuff back, I imagine. Anyway, if you've liked today's episode, uh, you know, like it. Really helps out, of course, with the channel, the series, and everything else. And uh, apparently, you guys seem to like this series a lot. Which is lovely to know. I kind of like this series. So, you know, thank you. And if you're not subscribed, and you want to, of course, see more, and want to find out what happens with this horde. And, of course, if we actually manage to survive the winter. I don't know if we're going to be here in the uh, at the sum next summer. I think we might have taken off in our spaceship. Because once we've got this research done, I'm going to start building a spaceship. I don't know if we have enough money. I, not money, but, you know, metal and plastic steel resources to build it. But, um, I guess we can only hope. Stay shiny. <laughs>